Years ago, Sigmund Freud made the statement, did God create man? Did man create God? Well, you've never heard such a hullabaloo in all your life. I can't believe this Jewish doctor is asking that question. Freud was not being blasphemous. He was not talking about creation in terms of the ontological sense of making something out of nothing. When he was talking about creation, Freud was asking, have we made God in our own image and likeness, or do we strive to make ourselves in the image and likeness of God? And more often than not, modern religion has adapted the idea that we can make God in our own image and likeness. We can pick and choose what we want out of the gospel. We can do all the warm, fuzzy things to make us feel good about ourselves, and therefore we never have to confront the gospel message. You know, for everyone who says they're so very Christian, well, you know, I had a kid who went off and had a very Christian roommate and said in the course of the first semester, her little roommate threw away three sets of contacts because she thought if Jesus, you know, she had enough faith and Jesus loved her, she wouldn't have to wear contacts in her eyes. She kept throwing away her contacts because she knew that Jesus was going to heal her eyes. She'd never have to wear them again. Not exactly scriptural, okay? But when we pick and choose what we want, it's amazing. We can take the scriptures and mold them into our own lifestyles, our own understandings, our own interpretations, and pretty much get away with anything. I had a girl that I grew up with who was in, in recovery, and she was doing all kind of, you know, the mushroom tea thing and all these natural drugs. She was staying stoned, but if God didn't want us to be stoned, why did he give us all these wild mushrooms and we were going out after the rain? Same thing with the commandments. Well, you know, I'm going through this divorce. I met someone I really like and everything, and, you know, we have to wait to get our annulment in. But, I mean, you expect us to wait two years before we can be sexually active? And we said, well, look, you got a 15- and a 17-year-old daughter. You expect them to bring their boyfriend home and sleep with them? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, guess what, baby? There's no statute of limitations or age limits. You don't age out and limit out on, on the commandments. If it's wrong for you to be immoral and pretty promiscuous when you're 15 and 16 years old, it's wrong when you're 55, 65, or 85. The idea of changing our lives to live in accord with God's law is what we're called to do. It's a purpose of religion. Is religion supposed to change God's, God's law to keep up with society? Or is religion supposed to change society to keep up with God's law? If it's not the latter, then what are we doing? We're a social club with bulletins. We're called to conform our lives to that of Christ, not change Christ's law to fit into our life. It's a great challenge in religion, and it's a moment of truth we all have to ask in our journey. Thanks for being with us. God bless you.